Hello, YouTubers and all those who gloriously watch. I got a guest host with me today to answer five questions about myself. Now, the twist of this is going to be, is I'm going to ask this lovely lady, Mystery, to, uh, well, ask me five questions. It's like a $5 foot long, but in five-question format. Now, can you marinate in that? Say hello, Tori. She's in my crush, by the way. be Karnoff. Well, I used to... The, the story behind uh, the Karnoff game was basically, at first, I really did not like the game. Now, the game wasn't bad. It was just, I didn't like it at first. So then, I just grew around it and kind of like, ah, fuck that game, fuck that game, fuck that game. Uh, then, someone named Roth from playthenest.com, he was like, uh, they would obsess like it was a meme, like it was like it was got, like the pedo bear is the fortune, you know. They they just that's how they treated Karnoff. You know, it grew into a cult following with a lot of people on that website. So I I says, all right, I'll try to give this damn game a chance, just so I can feel the hype they're feeling. So I went around and played it, and after a while, I started playing it. I hated the hell out of it. I kept on playing it, and playing it, and playing it, and playing it, and playing it until I finally began to like it. And, you know, so that way I can contribute my thoughts out of the game. And, like, you know, a very interesting perspective of it. So, it definitely was Karnoff that I did not like. But I played the shit out of. Never even heard of it. It's an arcade game as well as a NES game. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. If you could hop on a plane right now and go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Well, I'd go down to New York City because I heard that Chinese food's awesome. No, no, not really. Um, I'd actually go down to your house and hang out with you because I'm really cold right now. <laughs> Come in here and make you warm. Yeah. Uh, is it that Virginia weather? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Let me think of another question. Okay, tell me about a childhood pet. Did you have one? What was their name? Tell us about your pet. Well, I used to have a Cocker Spaniel named Puddles. And, well, he was a interesting dog. The reason we named him Puddles was because he used to piss all over the floor. And, well, let's just say he was kind of a nuisance to us sometimes, but, you know, it's just because he was a dog and he was an outdoor kind of dog that needed attention. Just like women, you know, you need to give them attention. Um, you know, but either way, he was a nice Cocker Spaniel. He was really not that bad of a dog. You know, he was just, he was pretty fat. You know, he died kind of sadly. I'm not going to get into that, though. Well, fat dogs are fun dogs when they're sweet. Not this dog. He used to piss over the floor and growl at you. And he's like, Rawr. Okay. Um, describe yourself in three words. Conspicuous, orgasmatic, and charismatic. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna question that. Okay. Damn right now, make me a sandwich. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, final question. If you could have any special superhero ability, what would it be, and why would you want it? I'd want a. Uh, um. Clay penis. A what? A clay penis. A clay penis? Yeah, so I can mold it into whatever that I want. That is not a superhero ability. 
Yes, it is. It's not. <laughs> they made Powdered Toast Man and Ren and Stimpy, and he was a superhero. So I can mold it into a heart. A heart. And also I can mold it into a Neo Geo pocket color bundle of games so that way I can pop it in my console and play some of that. Then if it was broken, I'd ask uh, Luke Morris uh, 1 to, you know, fix it for me. Are you saying you want Luke Morris to touch your penis? No, no, I don't want him to physically, like, fondle my penis. I just want him to, uh, <laughs> fix it. Poor guy, I'm gonna watch this video and go, what the fuck, Dan? What the fuck? But, uh. <laughs> okay, so I had to start the subject. Please go on. Why again? Well, because I would want to mold it into whatever I chose. So it would be like a very useful tube. Batman had his utility belt, and I had my clay penis. It's so... true. I love you, Thanasia. What? What else would you make? I'd make cupcakes. For why? So you can eat them, Tori. <laughs> I don't like clay cupcakes. Uh huh. <laughs> you like my cupcakes, and you bring all the boys to the yard, and they're like, damn right. They're better than yours. Like, damn right. But I got to charge. I got nothing else because I'm white and I don't rhyme. Yeah. And you still have a people ship. So typical. What? I'm vanilla ice. I can't help it. I'm compulsive like that, like Angela Levine. Mm -hmm. What's your five questions there? Alright, there you have it, folks. There's your five questions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys want any cupcake penises, uh, let me know. I'll serve them to you. Take it easy, folks. Can I say goodbye, Tori? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. I gotta tag people. Uh, I'm gonna tag Cessness. I'm gonna tag Mystery. I'm gonna tag Deadman72. Did I just forget that last bit of his name? Ah, uh, uh, Shabby Man. Uh, Shabby B Man. Uh, Shoe Baby BB Man. And we do tech. You five are served. You've been served, mother lover. I'm a mother lover, you're a mother lover. Love each other's mothers, fuck each other's moms. It's gonna be your honor to be your new stepfather. When I'm with your mother, I'll never use a rubber.